All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a basic mixing tutorial exclusive for GetInTheMix.com. The two CD players I have either side of the mixer are the CDJ2000 Nexus from Pioneer. The mixer is from Pioneer as well, and that is the DJM900 Nexus. The two tracks I'm using on my left, we have a track by Todd Terry, House of Gypsies, it's called Way of My Life. On the right hand side, we have the Aziz Project, a track entitled Get Up. I've set the pitch controls on the CDJ2000 Nexus at the center point, which will give me the precise BPM of both tracks when they were made and produced in the studio. The one on the left by Todd Terry is at 126. The one on the right by the Aziz Project is 125. BPM. BPM is short for beats per minute. The one on the left is 126 beats per minute. That means that if we were to count one minute, we would hear 126 beats in that minute. On the other side, we have 125. Now that tells me that there is 125 beats in a minute. If we counted one minute, we would have 125 beats in that minute. Or better still, no point counting, use a stopwatch or a clock. All right, the pitches are set to the center point. Now, if I press play on, at the same time on both of these tracks, what will happen is one of them will start to go too slow and the other one will start to go too fast. So I'll give you a demonstration. Both of the volumes on the DJM 900 Nexus are up and I'm gonna press play on the CDJ 2000 Nexus at the same time, here we go. You can hear that, but not only are the beats off, the beats are slowly moving out of time while they travel in time. If we left those long enough, they would eventually get back in time, but then they would be out of time again. The only way we can make sure they stay in time is to bring them both up to the same BPM. I can, if I want to, I can increase the BPM of the Aziz Project track, or I can decrease the Todd Terry track. If I want to increase the Aziz project, I'll need to move the pitch forward to the plus position. If I want to do the opposite, and I want to slow down the Todd Terry track, I need to move the pitch to the minus position. What I need to do is on the displays of the CD players, we can see the BPM. What I'm going to do for this demonstration, I'm going to increase the Aziz project use the pitch and I'm going to move the pitch and bring that towards me making note of the BPM it's going to 126.6789127 that's too fast I need to bring it down to 126 it's now at 126 also I can see that I've increased the pitch by 0.80% I'm now going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to press play on both of them at the same time. Here we go. Volume up and. Even with that small demonstration, we heard that the beats did not go out of time. Now it isn't really that simple because a lot of other kit is not as good as the CDJ2000 Nexus. You will find with cheaper gear, the beats may slightly go off and the BPM readouts need to be used just as a reference. I'm going to do exactly the same thing now, but the difference is I'm going to put the pitch back to the center point on the Aziz project, so we're now back to 125. I'm now going to reduce the speed of Todd Terry to 125, and I can do that by moving the pitch on the Todd Terry track to the minus position, making note of the BPM. Bring that up slightly, volume up, and away we go.
Okay, this is a very, very basic tutorial on beat matching. There will be more to come on the getinthemix.com website and also their YouTube channel. Practice and enjoy.